Hey friends, it's Dr. Chan here. Today we are going to answer some viewer questions. Dr. Chan, can masturbation cause prostate cancer? That is a interesting question and today we are going to delve into answering that very taboo topic. So I found this study that was done at Harvard that looked at almost 32,000 men. This study asked them how many times in a month did you ejaculate? And then looking at that, they followed these men to see how many of these men actually ended up developing prostate cancer. Now guys, you are going to love the results of this study because not only does masturbation not cause prostate cancer, there might actually be a protective effect. So they looked at guys ages 20 to 29 and 40 to 49 and asked them how many times did you ejaculate in a month, whether that be masturbation or with sexual intercourse. And they looked specifically at two groups, people who only ejaculated four to seven times a month, sort of on the low end, and then guys who ejaculated more than 21 times a month. In the 20 to 29 year old men, they found that there was an almost 19% decreased risk of developing prostate cancer. In the 40 to 49 year old men, there was a 22% decreased risk of developing prostate cancer. And when they looked at the prostate cancer, it was more low risk versus aggressive prostate cancer. Now you might be wondering why some of the hypothesis that people think about is the prostate stagnation hypothesis. The idea is that the prostate accumulates some secretions in it that can sometimes lead to cancer. And then by ejaculating more or masturbating more, you're able to empty these potentially cancer-causing secretions out. Now this is really important because prostate cancer is incredibly common. 15% of all new cancer diagnoses are prostate cancer. And so the things that you can modify to prevent them is really important. Now there are some things that we know for sure can be associated with prostate cancer like age, race, genetics, like family history. But then what we want to focus on is the things that you can actually change like lifestyle or diet. And in this case, ejaculation frequency. The takeaway from this study is that the next time you talk to your wife, girlfriend, or partner, tell them that you need some help with ejaculating more so that you can prevent getting prostate cancer. All right, well, thanks so much for joining me in this episode. If you have any questions or if you think I missed anything, please leave them down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to the channel and have a great day.